Oh, that is bright. Nice reflection. Gorgeous day outside. What are we doing today? Installing an interior car warmer. If you have 15 to 30 minutes, you can do yours in your driveway, in your garage, in your shed, wherever, you, wherever your car is at, your truck's at. I'm gonna show you a couple of quick, easy pointers. Get this thing done real quick. Watch this. Starting here, front of the vehicle. There's my power cord right here. There it is. It's plugged into my extension cord because I also run a block heater. And then I have it tie strapped up underneath here. So when I plug it in at home, at work, it works. I have run the cord, the cable, the cord, through here, past my air conditioning uh, condenser and my rad cradle because there's space. Keep it away from any moving or hot parts, such as your belt or your exhaust. <coughs> Excuse me. Running my cord right here. There's my electrical cord right here. Coming across. I've got a couple of zip ties on it. Find an access point on your firewall. There is my access point right there. Main wire harness coming in. And there's a grommet. The This here is my remote starter cable that has gone through my wiring. So all I did was, oops, sorry, pried that back a bit. Put it through there, fed it underneath the dash. Do not go past and do use this area here, such as your heater core in and out, or your air conditioning lines, because you don't want to mess with those two, such as causing any kind of damage and or leaks. There's another wiring harness that goes through here, but uh, this was a little bit harder to get to underneath the dash, and I'll show you why on this side. What tools do you need? A screwdriver. This is a Robertson. I brought a Phillips, don't know why. It's already installed. Let's look underneath the dash. Show you where my, I eroded mine. And yours might be a little bit different, but here we go. Here's my cord. Oops, let me move my lighter out here a bit. And there you go. You can see where it's coming up through. Main wire harness. I've got a tie strapped out of the way right here. Right there, I've just run it across simple and easy there's my interior car warmer and there's my plug to plug it in with now on mine this is what I prefer is that I just have it mounted on a piece of wood and I just leave it laying like that when it's plugged in and running that's all that I do real simple this is the intake this is where the heat comes out so you want to keep this away from you don't want to have it like that where it's blowing directly on that close give it some space this is good this will get nice and warm this is 400 watt one and it keeps the interior of this vehicle quite comfortable when it's minus 20 below outside and that's it there we go now on a lot of vehicles you can mount them on the side such as sideways like this if you will and that's okay me, I leave mine like that. I didn't want to drill any holes in the paneling and I take it out for the summertime. So all I do is I just unplug it and then I hide the cord underneath my floor mats. There's my hand in front of the camera. Thanks for looking at that. Questions, comments, 15 to 30 minutes. You can have this done. Keep it away from any moving parts. Keep it away from the heat or the exhaust. Run it across, plug it in. Use a timer. You don't need to let this thing run all night. Put it on a timer, three to four hours. That's it. It'll get this, get the cold air just out of the vehicle here itself. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, leave them. I answer them all. Cheers.